Hey guys, how's it going? Just me, Nesta2 here, with another review for you. And this time we're looking at the final figure that I've collected from the Dark Ages. I'm missing two more figures, but I'm not interested in those at all, so I won't be picking those up. Today we're going to be looking at McFarlane Toys, Spawn the Dark Ages, Ignitus, and Tuscadon. At least I hope I pronounced it right. Here it is, still in package. And uh, if you've been following my reviews, then you already know what to expect here. Same same uh, card, you know, green with the skull right here, Spawn the Dark Ages, ages 5 and older, which is kind of odd. <laughs> I don't know. This is the figure I wasn't looking forward to at all. And yeah, this is the fourth review I'm doing of this packaging, so whatever, right? It says Ignatius can sit on the saddle. Tuscadon has bendy tail. <laughs> bendy. And the fun and toys right there. Ultra action figures. I don't know. I'm, I think the figure will be. I think he'll probably be okay for what he is. But the only reason I got him is because I got him in the figure lot. So yeah, got Ignatius and Tuscadon right there. This figure was originally $8.99 from I don't know where. I don't know where the original seller bought it from. But yeah. On the back we got the same shit, so I'm not going to take a look at it all. Oh, but there's one thing I'll be looking at, and that's the read up here. Got the picture and the read up. Let's see the read up real quick. <clears throat> it says Ignatius. Once the most handsome and fearless knight of the kingdom. During his first days on earth, the necromancer came across Ignatius and desired him to be part of her army and her lusts. Ignatius rebuffed the witch. Scorn, the necromancer turned the handsome knight into a being as she put it, more fitting of his name. Ignatius was turned into a creature hybrid, part human, part reptile. His mighty steed, the envy of all horsemen, was also transformed into a huge, hulking, tusk, brute, something, tuscadon. The reason why I can't read it is because there's this little white mark right there. It might, might be the word named, tusks, brute, named, tuscadon, but I can't be sure. Whatever, right? It's not a big deal. Anyways, I'm going to open this up and give you a closer look at Ignitus and Tuscadon. And here he is outside of the package just waiting to be reviewed. And no, your eyes do not deceive you. The background did change due to the fact that the, the first part of this review and package took place on a different day than the rest of this review. But that's not important. Here I got the figure, you know, already displayed together with his, you know, trusty horseman here, Tuscadon. And I still have uh, problems pronouncing this guy's name. It's like Ignitus or Ignotus. Ignotus. Uh, what the hell's wrong with me? Anyways, it looks pretty cool. I mean, I wasn't really expecting anything from this figure. And there, and I am, it, it is lacking a little bit, but he's not bad. It's cool. Look at this thing. The Tuscadon, this thing he's sitting on, is like a beast. Year 360 here. It's not too bad, actually. I like it. Alright, so... Let's get a closer look. Here is Ignatus or Ignatus, whoever you however you pronounce his name. Can't even talk. And he looks pretty good, like for what he is, like this little guy. He looks kind of like a dragon. He's all small. He still got his armor. It's cool. He's got these little details. Like this, he's got like a knife right here. <laughs> he has like his loincloth slash armor. <laughs> he has a hole for uh, cause this is his, this is his peg hole to go into his horse. Well, it's not a horse anymore. Yeah, look at it. It's got a strap right here. Got more armor down here. It's cool. It's got gauntlets. Shoulder armor. This one doesn't have a gauntlet. <coughs> look at his feet. <laughs> They're all small. Yeah, I like his head a lot. It's cool. He's got like the horns sticking out. Look at his face. Look at that face. He does not look happy. He's like, damn it! I was a handsome knight at one point. What the fuck? Such a tragic story, this poor guy. All because of some stupid witch. When he refused her, and now she turns him into this. It's messed up. But yeah, I like the details on his teeth, it's cool. I like the sculpt, basically. It's pretty good. So, articulation wise, all I can do 
It says a ball jointed head. It is not on a swivel. I thought it was. It's a ball joint. Because look, it can go up. You can go down a little bit. Go side to side. It's cool. You can go like this. <laughs> yeah, it's a ball joint. His uh, shoulders are on a ball joint as well. But all they can do is swivel, basically. You can't uh, you can't go side to side or anything like that. Like, sort of, but that's not really what it was meant to. See that? It's a ball joint. Ball peg, whatever you want to say it. And it just goes back on easily. And for his legs, he got swivels as well. So you can go up and go back. Yeah. This guy was basically meant to be displayed on top of the horse. The Tuscadon. Yeah. This hand is gripped for his accessories, and this one, no. Can't do anything with this hand, actually. Not really. It's, oh, it's open a little too much, and it's all the way this side, which kind of sucks. So this hand is the only thing that can hold stuff. And it comes with this axe, and it's cool. Look at that detail. It's nice. Looks like it's been aged and weathered down. It's awesome. The wood looks good. Nice. And yeah, he can hold it just fine in this hand <laughs> he's like nya, 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 nya. <laughs> he also comes with this flag what this flag means I'm not sure but it's on both sides so that's good nice paint detail it's got the handle too it's nice it's uh, made of rubbery material so it's not a sheet or anything so you don't have to worry about it ripping and it just goes into his hand like that he's holding it just fine. It's not too heavy. I thought it would have been too heavy for him. Rah. And here is the Tuscadon. His horse, whoever you want to call him. Well, he used to be a horse, so he was cursed as well. And his sculpt is pretty good. It looks nice. Look at his face. It's like, rah, rah, rah. You see his tusks here. It's cool. The skull, right here, the sculpt on the skull looks like crap though. It looks kind of kiddish. I don't like it. So, you know, that down here is basically the actual sculpt of the Tuscadon himself, like his body. Looks decent. His uh, sculpt and paint remind me of um, Pumpkinhead, which is also from McFarlane. It's nice. I mean, the paint detail, the paint detail isn't that great, but at least it's there, you know. It's not just one color. And it's got the sculpting for his his uh, his whole body, like just like lines. It's kind of nice. Got the toenails. The entire armor is uh, one piece. Like, well, actually, from here to here, it's one piece. This is a separate piece. It covers butt. It's a rubber, and the shoulder pieces are connected to the legs. See that? When it moves, it stays there. So we got all kinds of details all over this armor. Look at. He's got bones in there. It's got pouches. It's pretty cool. It's got. It looks like a shield, maybe. It's got spikes on here. I don't know if the spikes are from the armor or from his actual body. It's got more pouches. It's cool. It's got like, I don't know, medallions or crystals on him. It's kind of cool. This is where uh, he would sit on top of him. There's this big old spike right here. I'm not really sure what it means. Like, is that supposed to be like, to be intimidating or what? And that the actual, uh, you know, the rope to hold him on is an actual metal chain that's really nice <clears throat> articulation wise though it's a little disappointing he's got a swivel on his head so you can do this cannot go up and down at all and cannot open his mouth either can you believe that his mouth doesn't open I thought his mouth would have opened it looks like it kinda wants to but it's not going to and you can tell from down here it's not gonna open so that sucks got a swivel on his legs right here you can do this this side as well back here they move the same way just forward and back swivels and the tail is supposed to be on a bendy wire but it's terrible like like I can move it like this and I can do that but um see how it's just hanging there it's hanging like too low like his feet right here is flat with the ground but look at his tail how, how far it goes down so I can't do this like I just can't it just goes back down and the the more I use it, like like can you see that tear right there? Right there. There's a tear. Straight from package and it's already torn. So that sucks. Sucks. 
For a size comparison, we got some little figures to match him. Here's from NECA, Phantasm the movie, uh, one of his minions. And here is from Gremlins, Gizmo, the actual 80s figure. So he goes good with them. And here's one more from Playmates, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the new show, a Mauser. <laughs> and here he is next to some 6 inch figures. Here we got from Hasbro, Marvel Legends, Drax. We got from Mattel, DC Universe Classics, Red Arrow. And he's tiny, but that works because, you know, it's part of his curse. He's a short little ugly guy now. So that's fine. He could probably replace Rocket Raccoon if he was in this time here. <laughs> and here is Tuscadon next to some figures as well. We got from NECA, Kick-Ass 2, the dog from Colonel of Stars and Stripes, and Toy Biz Marvel Legends, Bullseye. So I think it works. Works just fine. And here is Bullseye riding Tuscadon. <laughs> and then you can just place the metal chain on his hand right here I mean you can try to fit it in the wrists but I don't think his thumb actually moves nah so basically it's just gonna sit on his wrist and because he only has one hand for accessories I, I tend to put the axe in here and I put the flag right here it, was it wasn't really meant for it I don't think at least the package doesn't say anything, but it looks like it goes just fine. Look at that. That works. So, my final thoughts on this figure. This set, it's kind of cool. Not the best, but it does have some good qualities. Like, the sculpt's good. Paint's not too bad. And I don't know, I like the little guy. I like him more than the whole set together. You know, I think some opportunities were missed here though, like maybe some more articulation on the actual Tuscadon. Maybe have his jaw opening, that would have been super good. Would have helped out a lot. And him, maybe some more weapons. But he's already got this big accessory, he's got a horse basically. So, I don't know, I got some mixed feelings on this thing. It's kind of cool. But, it's, but if it didn't come in the the whole lot that I bought of spawn figures, I don't think I would have bought him single on my own. Nah. So 1 through 10 on the scale, I'm going to give him, 5 being average, he's going to get probably uh, maybe like a 6.5. Yeah. Because he's not a 7, but he's a little more than a 6, I'd say. So yeah, 6.5 is what he's going to get. Not too bad, but not too good either. So yeah, that was my review on, if I can pronounce it right, Ignatus, Ignatus, and Tuscadon. Remember guys, I upload videos every Sunday morning and sometimes on Wednesdays. Hope you enjoyed this video and hope to see you in the next. Alright you guys, see you next time. Thanks for watching.